today, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I was able to grow my dropshipping business on Snapchat ads from zero to almost $5,000 in sales in just two weeks. The crazy part is I started this with a $50 budget and I was able to scale it up to 1k days in just a few days. In this video, I'm going to be revealing how I found the product, the exact winning creatives I used, the Shopify store I built, the analytics of my Snapchat ad account, and finally, the exact sales and profit that this store brought in. Thank you guys so much for all the recent support. We just passed 3,500 subscribers and I can't thank you guys enough. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And with that being said, let's get right into it. So the way I found this winning product was just by scrolling through TikTok made me buy it. I was honestly scrolling through this hashtag for hours trying to find something that caught my eye. And as you can see, a lot of these videos are just the same old TikTok dropshipping organic accounts. I decided to look more into women's products because women generally buy more things online and I was really having a tough time finding a winning product. At first, this is the product that I thought I wanted to sell. It's some sort of beauty gadget for women or something like that, but I just decided that it wasn't really eye-catching and a lot of people didn't know what it did because that's what they were asking about in the comments. Another product I thought about selling was this humidifier. As you can see, it's really eye-catching, but it just doesn't have a strong demographic of people to buy it. Anyone could buy this product, but that means that there's also a lot of other products that these people could buy. If you're anything like me, you hate wasting time looking through winning products on TikTok made me buy it. So you might be interested in the AutoDS TikTok Spy tool. This is a tool that I use all the time to find winning products because it shows you ads that are currently running on TikTok and it allows you to seamlessly import them directly into your Shopify store. As you guys can see, there's a bunch of creatives here that are currently being ran on TikTok and you can even sort and filter by views, comments, likes, impression, and even specific keywords. So that can be a very powerful feature. Once you find a product that you think you might be interested in selling, you can simply import it to your store by adding a product and selecting one of these options. So if you want to get ahead of the competition, check out the AutoDS Spy tool. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can get a 30 day free trial right now. So after scrolling around on TikTok made me buy it and wasting a bunch of time, I decided to just go back to the burner method and scroll through my for you page looking for organic accounts selling products. Eventually I found this page selling this perfume and here's what the creative was. That's all you need to spend to make boys go crazy over you. This, this is a very long perfume. I have no idea how it works, but when I put it on, men are instantly attracted to me. Gotcha. It's totally magic in a bottle. I cannot believe it's only $1. So there you guys have it. That was the creative that generated me almost $5,000 in sales in just two weeks. The reason this creative was profitable was because there's an attractive girl promoting the products made for other girls. There's text popping up on the screen to narrate the words she's saying. And there's a really good offer right in the beginning of the video. If you guys didn't catch the offer, here it is. One dollar. That's all you need to spend. To one dollar. The video starts out with the offer by showing that the perfume is only one dollar. This is the offer I ran on this store, $1 plus shipping, but I'll elaborate more on that in a second. So at this point, I've closed down the store and I no longer have access to it, but I can still show you guys what it looked like. If you guys are interested in setting up a Shopify store, make sure to go down below and use my link to get a 90 day trial on Shopify for just $1. So here's the store I built. It was called feralforher.com. Feel free to look it up, but it just comes back as a dead link. As you can see, we had the pheromone attraction perfume with some high quality images. One thing I did with these images is I enhanced them with an AI app called Remini. This app is free and all you need to do is watch an ad to increase the quality of your images, which is really powerful. Scrolling down a little, I had a few points here, a new scent to attract men, start getting compliments daily. And then I had the add to cart button with a shipping guarantee. You're guaranteed to get it in 14 days or less. Scrolling down, we had some images and gifts with a little bit of copywriting. And of course, the sticky add to cart at the bottom. Moving down further, we had a couple testimonials that I made. None of these people actually said these things. We had a little thing about what makes us special. And finally, the reviews at the bottom. One thing that really affected my conversion rate was importing reviews. I decided to start off with only 1,000 reviews, but after increasing to 10,000 reviews, my conversion rate went, went through the roof. So there you guys have it for the store. Really simple design, pink, white, and black. Those are the only colors you need 
to start a Shopify store for a women's brand. Use a simple font, use images and GIFs that are high quality, a little bit of copywriting and some reviews at the bottom of the page, and you've got yourself a winning Shopify store. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at the Snapchat ad account that I used to scale this store. As you guys can see, I spent a total of $1,800 and brought in 568,000 impressions. I ran these ads from August 3rd until August 7th, which would mean that I actually only ran this store for four days. This is actually not true. I had a little bit more on a different ad account, but I no longer have access to it. Additionally, we got 8,525 clicks with a 1.5% click through rate, which is pretty decent. And I had over 141,000 view my video for longer than two seconds. So if we take a look at the actual ad structure I was doing, you guys can see that I was basically just running open ad groups, all genders, all ages, and I was just letting it run. This was the ad group that I spent the most on. As you can see, I basically just duplicated my winning creative a bunch of times and set the budget to $200, $100, and I used pixel purchase on basically all of them. The strategy that I figured out worked the best was duplicating the winning creative and raising the budget a little bit every few hours. And that worked pretty well. As you guys can see, the ads are not delivering anymore because the ads actually got rejected. The problem with this creative is that it's a little bit misleading. At the end of the video, she says, it's magic. It's magic in a bottle, she says, which apparently was misleading because it's not magic in a bottle. And so Snapchat decided to take down my ads for that reason. So if you wanna make sure you never run into this problem, I would highly recommend checking out viral ecom ads. I've used their creatives in the past and have generated thousands of dollars with their creatives. They're really high quality and they convert without a doubt. Viral Ecom Ads has a bunch of different packages, including the split testing, video ad, TikTok, and image testing at packages. And their pricing is pretty cheap. As you guys can see, $60, $40, and $50. But if you sign up for the VIP program, you can get them for super cheap. Viral Ecom Ads is used by all the most famous people in the dropshipping space. Sebastian Georgiou, Ari Sherson, Jay Rich, Hayden Bowles. I'll leave a link down in the description for Viral Ecom Ads where you can get 15% off your first purchase. And now let's take a look at the exact number of sales my Shopify store brought in. So as you guys can see, the store started off really slow. The first order came in at about 5 a.m. on the first day of running ads. And I got four orders in total on this day. The exact offer I was running was $1 plus $14.99 for shipping. I also had a couple more shipping options one of them was $14, the next one was $16, and the most expensive was $18. The funny thing is that all of these shipping were all exactly the same, so I ended up getting a few people to pay for more expensive shipping, even though it was exactly the same. Another thing I used was package insurance. I labeled it as breaking insurance. So if your perfume gets broken, I'll send you another one for free. I charged $2 for this and about 50% of my customers decided to add that to their cart. Moving on here, you can see we had a few visitors on the store and we had 134 sales. That was the $134, 148 on the same day. Here's a picture of my notification center. I just thought that was cool that it was full of notifications. First day of running the store, I did $188 and I knew this was a winning product. It looks like I kept going on the same day to do $230 in one day. And here's a screenshot I took of the active carts. This was at the peak of the ads running. We had 62 in the cart, 26 checking out but none of them purchased. Here's a screenshot when we reached 1K in a day. This was honestly one of the most insane days of my life. It was so cool getting to 1K in sales in a day. And it really showed me that e-com is a great way to make money online. So here's the final screenshot for the store. I ended up making $3,720. I know it's not 5,000 like I put in the thumbnail, but it's pretty close. We did $3,000 over the course of four days, which is roughly an average of $1,000 a day, which is pretty awesome. And my profit margins were just about 20%. So with about $4,000 in sales, it's safe to say my profits was somewhere around $800. I paid my supplier over Skype with a bank transfer and he sent out all my products almost immediately. If you guys wanna use the supplier that I use, make sure to join my Discord in the description below. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed this story about how I made over $4,000 in sales on Snapchat. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.